What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my 2K16 Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge, my career PS4. You know the drill. It is Saturday, and I have revamped some of my moveset, and also I'm sitting as far back as I can here against the damn bed, so the lighting should be more even and less washed out on my dumb face. Uh, I have not moved the TV yet, uh, so, I uh, don't the White balance is getting fucked up here. Weird. It's, 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 it's on auto, so I haven't really gone into fixing my white balance to be a certain way yet. Uh, perhaps I can do some of that in post-processing. Anyway, Bray Wyatt Smackdown. Let's get right into it as we discuss things like, holy shit, now Alberto Del Rio apparently is dealing with a lower back injury. Holy shit, did Vince wish on a monkey's paw? For people to cheer Roman, and the curse is that everybody else is getting a hurt to accomplish that. Because, goddamn, now uh, Del Rio is apparently uh, having some troubles. So, yeah. League of Nations being dismantled uh, without actually having to lose uh, uh, on screen. Or, you know, get, get hurt on screen. They're just getting hurt, which is... Uh, the word on the street is, or the word, I guess, on the internet is that one of the suplexes that uh, Del Rio took from Lesnar during the Rumble is what caused it. And it wasn't even a German. It was just a regular suplex that was just, you know, very high impact. And Del Rio kind of, sl sl kind of slid across the ring uh, with that. And so that might have been what caused the injury. Now, White noise. Uh, I feel like that it's a couple things. It's the schedule that these guys work on is is insane. Now I had heard that Del Rio had a lighter schedule, and you know, obviously, uh, anytime that you get in the ring with Brock Lesnar is going to be you know uh, a risk. But not just the schedule. I I think uh, part of it is that ten twenty years ago. These are injuries that uh, might not have necessarily ever been disclosed, and guys would have just worked through them until they were too hurt to, you know, actually work. Uh, and I think that is that they're they're getting better at disclosing injuries uh, earlier. I think is what's going on because they're so parano paranoid about it uh, that they don't want any additional lawsuits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think that's part of it, certainly. Uh, these are injuries that might not have been disclosed before, but uh, when you're constantly worried about shareholders and stock prices and TV ratings and everything else that comes along with you know being a, a wrestling organization, uh, they're certainly more concerned with that stuff. So they're these these reports get out uh, bookend. A lot earlier, or, you know, a lot more than they would have been 10, 20 years ago. So I think that's certainly part of it, but the only guy who, you know, seems to be quote-unquote healthy... Ah, I forgot to change my signature and finisher. The only guys that, that are quote-unquote healthy in the like, guy in, in League of Nations is uh, Rusev. And even he, he had that knee thing where he was wearing uh, a knee brace uh, in India, or whatever it was. Give you a kiss... Give you a kiss, Sister Abigail. I'm not gonna do it, but you know, you can't steal a finisher and not go for a pinfall. That will be disrespectful. And Ebenezer is attempting to move to a face turn. Uh, if I can manage to get the dialogue right, I guess is the problem there. Boom. Um, I don't know. Oh. So yeah, it is Saturday as I sit here and record this. Uh, it's a little bit later. I mean, it's about 10.30 in the morning, so a little bit later than when I usually do things. But uh, I wanted to kind of take it easy for a morning for for once, not be doing things at 9 in the damn morning. Hit him! Yeah! Referee, count it! Out of position. Nope. Uh, I'm just trying to get things done in a timely Oh, missed the bro kick. Missed the bro kick. Bray Wyatt on the attack. Uh, yeah, so... With wrestling games, or at least with, you know, 
this wrestling game anyway. Uh, the fuck was that? Uh, being farther back from the TV for me, not that bad. Like the other game that I'm playing, uh, the di the di the di Deadly Tower of Monsters, which is my my other le le let's play. The characters are a lot smaller on the screen, so uh, I need to be you know this is only a 24 inch TV, so uh, being a little bit closer obviously is ideal for seeing fine details. Um, but for wrestling, you know, the guys are big, the ring's big, not a big deal. Uh, referee. There we go. Two and a half, or three stars, two and a half stars, what you would expect for a SmackDown match. I'm not going to bring out all the big stuff, I'm not going to do, you know, the table spots and the, the big spear spot on SmackDown. It's not worth bumping my ass off on SmackDown. Seriously. Anyway, uh, next page. Hey, got my opponent's head health to red. Good for me. Alright, moving our way on to Money in Bank. Uh, at some point here. Uh, we're in week three, so here we go. Week four is Money in the Bank. So we're going to hit up Raw for today. Kevin Owens! Uh, as we win a match with your green... Win your match with green leg health. I might be able to do that, but no guarantees. Uh, we're still ranked 10 here for the world title, and I don't know if they're going to put us in the Money in the Bank match. Uh, we're not currently in a feud here, so there's that. But I thought, hey, don't get, in don't get into a feud because... Yeah, pick show Brock Lesnar. Don't get into a feud because... Uh, you want to be put in the, you know, six-man or eight-man or... Well, obviously not eight-man because they don't have eight-man in this game. So it'll be six-man. Uh, that is a technical limitation uh, of the system here. So there is that. Uh, but they certainly had seven-man and eight-man Money in the Bank matches before in real life. Uh, but video games, not so much. So, I don't know. Let us fight... Fight Owens, fight. Oh, I missed. Oh, Big Show. You're in the main event, Big Show. You're fighting Brock Lesnar. Why the fuck are you ringside? I mean, I guess he's ringside because he's authority. Uh, that makes sense. Much like how they had Seth Rollins helping me. That I mean, that makes sense logically if he's, if he's here to cheer for me. As I fight KO here. It is fat guy versus fat guy. They both look so similar. Uh, yeah, so I don't... I'm very curious to see what they do for Kevin Owens for WrestleMania, uh, because if they just waste him on like a Money in the Bank type match, or you know the the uh, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, if if they waste him on that, that'd be a damn shame. He deserves a big singles match for Mania, whether it be Sami Zayn, whether it be Dean Ambrose, whether it be uh, AJ Styles. Like he deserves to have a big. Uh, match for Mania, but I think, I think at this point, considering how many guys are going to be hurt during fucking Mania, you got to give him something uh, to, to fill that card out, and you know that Owens can, you know, put on great matches, so there at least is that uh, part of the equation, uh, and he's certainly giving me a run for my money here, I haven't been able to reverse his damn moves, which is, uh, I got, I, got, I got that one. I got that one, KO. What do you got? Here we go, here we go. Woo! Nope. Out of nowhere, kick the knee. Screw you, Kevin. I'll, I'll, I'll reverse you again. Neckbreaker again. We'll do this whole we'll do this whole sequence again, just like if we botched it. Just re repeat the whole repeat the whole sequence. Yes, this is going out real well. Why won't you let me grab your leg? God damn it! Why won't you let me do it? Yeah. So it's sad that we hope. Huh? I'm hoping they don't go. Okay. Well, WrestleMania main events. We got Kane's healthy. Big Show's healthy. Let's use those guys. Like, please, please don't. Like, just push younger talent. If you're going to go that far, push young... Like, I know you have to fill 
100,000 seats as your goal in Cowboy Stadium. I get it. I, I, I understand what you're trying to do. What the fuck? Uh, I understand that, but shit, man. Don't, don't give me Big Show in your main event for WrestleMania. Just don't, don't do it. Please. I don't have anything against Big Show personally. But I've seen him on TV uh, for what, like 20 years now? I don't need to see him any more Big Show in, in big in big matches. Uh, just There's a reason that fans are chanting, please retire. Just saying. Eat it. Owens. Let's get to 100% here. 100%. And yeah, I think I, I need a, a, a changed signature. I do like the spike, but... Pop-Tar Powerbomb! Boom. I should have held pin there, but whatever. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. But you gotta go for it, you know? Yeah, so the injury stuff lately has been this fucking... This, I don't know if it's coincidence. I, I, I've heard that that some guys perhaps have been lifting wrong, like in, in their exercise routines. Uh, much like how in O2 there was just kind of a, a, a spate of neck injuries. That everybody's got neck injuries. And they were like, well, why? So, I think we're in a case here where it's like, well, everyone's getting like shoulder injuries. Well, why? You know, is, is it because of how they're lifting? Is that the culprit? Uh, so, I hope they're inspecting that in a timely fashion. What am I even doing here? Terrifunk! You egg-shucking dog! Yep. And that is my very poor Terry Funk impersonation. Uh, that, no, that... That is my very poor impersonation of Jim Ross impersonating Terry Funk. Is what that is. Uh, if you listen to the Jim Ross podcast, you get to hear that a lot. Along with his, uh, Stu Hart and his, uh, uh what's the other guy? Um, uh, one of the, one of the old school territory promoters. Uh, my boy! Uh, I can't think of his name. Great damage in the back region. No. Oh. Uh, I want to say my other signature is the... It's still the buckle bomb. So, we can still give him the buckle bomb. Keep that for a bit, I guess. Boom, into the buckle. And then we do our normal finisher. Which, I think I should change at some point. Soon, hopefully. That's the one thing I, 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 I forgot to do. You gotta believe this one's over. Because it is. Oh, uh, rope break. Fucking A. God damn it. Ah, uh, come on, Owens. Let's get to the center of the ring here. Oh, no. He's going to get a fucking weapon. Taking a breather. Because he's a heel and he wants to get disqualified. I don't think so, Kevin. Oh, he got disqualified. God damn it. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. I misjudged it. Damn you, Kevin Owens. Getting yourself disqualified. Well, that's how we're going to end this episode, I guess. Oh, and I got green leg health. Cool. And that is going to wrap up a fine Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. Etc, etc. Tomorrow... We have SmackDown, and more importantly, tomorrow... Oh, Mark Henry again? And more importantly, tomorrow, uh, Morning in the Bank. And that'll be interesting. Uh, I have seen that some of you said that when I, uh, eventually get this fucking face turn, um, eventually, uh, that, uh, if I lose Lana as a manager, to pick up Paige as a manager, that is a very smart suggestion, so certainly I'll be looking into that. Um... And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching my let's play of uh, 2K16. I think I'm getting better at this lighting thing anyway. Uh, and uh, But I haven't moved the TV yet, so we'll get to that. But I'll see you next time right here on this channel. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.